Hi super achievers, students, parents and individuals. Welcome to my channel at the rate Pratap Harichandan, Atindriyam, where we are building super achievers by integrating sixth sense, artificial intelligence, learning, health and spirituality, biotechnology. Again, today's video is on biotechnology. Two frequent asked questions. First question is, is there, is there a career opportunity in biotechnology in India? Of course, yes. We will see one by one, we will see in my detailed video. And the second question, is there any career opportunity in IT industry if you have done BTEC in biotechnology? Yes, because there is a uh, subject called bioinformatics or data analytics. You can work in IT firm if you have a BTEC in biotechnology. So these are the two questions generally asked. Now we will see what are the career opportunities. But today I will make a video on complete roadmap that is welcome to the biotech 360 degree where we will discuss the total roadmap of biotechnology career opportunity. We will see step by step process, academic process, then you will see the scope, salary structure and the growth. So if you are really interested, stay with me for maximum 15 minutes and we will see step by step process. Yes, do not forget to share my video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because you know I am building a community of super achievers and it is possible through you only. You can help me out by subscribing more and more subscription and more and more sharing of my videos and channel. And we can build a community of super so achievers. Pahela jo thing hai, we will see the data. Or before that, just imagine a biotechnology lab in village is developing, developed a, what do you say? Climate proof rice, a Mumbai based biotech startup outsmarts cancer cure by AI, by using AI. and you are behind these things. So imagine how you, you feel yourself. So now come back. What is the scenario? Numbers, because numbers means uh, how the business are going, how the companies are performing, how the country is performing, what is the uh, requirements, what is the job prospects, numbers. Always we can see the numbers like we are now the fourth largest GDP in the world. We have bet, we have just surpassed Britain. Similarly, here we will see what is biotechnology industries are doing, what is the growth through these numbers. Pahela jo discussion hai, it is about global review, what is the global scenario. Now, in 2024, the market size is 1.6 trillion dollar globally and it will increase to 3.54 trillion dollar by 2033. It may, we may cross this one before that. This is a projection. What is the Kagar? Kagar is 9.2 percentage. You know what is Kagar, no? Compound annual growth rate, year by year, how much will grow globally in biotechnology market size. Second, hai, Indian scenario, Indian review. We are at 165 billion dollar right now and it will cross 300 billion dollar by 2030. So Kagar is 32 percent. Just imagine how much you are growing and it is fueling around 3 lakhs direct jobs. Now let us see which are the organizations, companies, government organizations, startups those who are working in biotechnology. Some of them will see. First, the private organizations, private private companies. It is Biocom, Serum Institute, Panacea Biotech, Dr. Reddy's Laboratory, which uh, they are having a uh, bi biology division, biotech division, Work Hard, Jidus Life Sciences, then Intas Pharma, Bharat Biotech, you know, they have developed this COVID-19 vaccine. Then Reliance Life Sciences, these are major companies in biotechnology. There are more and more 
just I have told you where I got this data. Next, uh, some startups, let us see. Startups, it is first is C6 Energy. They are de developing biofuels because they are working on marine biotech, developing biofuels from sea wheat. Next is Agni Samuk. They are into uh, food technology, in integration of biotechnology, food and agriculture. Next one is Sapien bio Biotechnology. They are in actually bio banking. I'm exactly I don't know what is bio banking. We can search it. So these are the private and startups. Now let us see which are the government organizations, how they are helping or how they are doing in India. First one is BIRAC, Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council. What they do? They do what? They support the talents and startups. They have Pan India support system. Just imagine. There is specially government organization, Biotechnology Industry Research Research Assistant Council. They just mentor the startups and talents. CCAMP, Center for Cellular and Molecular Platform, Incubation and Lab Support, they give. IKP, Knowledge Park, Innovation Support. CSIR, this is a very big government research organization, Council of Scientific Industrial Research, Pune, Industrial Biotech and Research Commercialization. Suppose through research, you got something, you can develop that into a product. So they will help you how to commercialize those things. And if you see the GDP wise, how biotech is contributing, they are contributing around 4.25% to India GDP. So it is actually, if you see, if you are around 4.1 trillion dollar GDP, so 4.25% you just calculate. So it is faster than average. So these are the datas. Now we'll see what are the myths about because there are many myths. One of the myths I have already made a video that is there is no scope in biotechnology. What is the greatest myth? Let us see. You need PhD to enter a biotech industries. No. If you know, if you see the data, 60% of the uh, opportunities, career opportunities are from MSc, BTEC, and BSc biotechnology. Then biotechnology only pharma lab. mind When you say that biotechnology means uh, you will develop uh, some medicines, pharma sectors. No. Already biotechnology is in environment science, food technology, agricultural technology, climate, climate biotech. Lot of things are going on. Then low pay for years. It is also. Yes, I do agree that when entry jobs, no, the payment is very low, it was, but nowadays it is improving. The average salary, it is around 30,000 per month. See, it also depends in which organizations you are getting a job. If it is a big organization, then it will be different. Otherwise, if you see the starting salary, if I, whatever I have calculated, it is from 2.5 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs entry jobs, I am telling about. If you have a MSc a biotech or BSc biotech, it will be a little bit less. So if you are a BTEC biotech, it will be around 4.5 lakhs to 7 lakhs. Depends also on the organization. This is the salary range. And now let us see what are the domain areas where the career opportunities lies. You should also know these things because there will be some areas now you will be interested in health and pharma biotech what they do they do dry research and they develop uh, actually vaccine creations gene therapy and biomedical engineering agriculture how it is into agriculture gm crops bio pesticides bio fertilizers which are very much required you need these things as fast as possible bio fertilizers and bio pesticides as already I, as i told you we are developing also 
climate resistance crops climate proof crops food technology food safety fermentation and natural food uh, developments hybrid food developments environment waste treatment pollution control and bio remedies research and development basic and applied research in public and private research labs bioinformatics genomics analysis analysis protein modeling and data interpretation and another one is biotech entrepreneurship and management that is product managers bc analyst and regulatory affairs i was thinking if you have if you have done your biotechnology msc or btech or research after working for 5 to 10 years this is the band why don't you start your own startup think always big if you can think it you can make it it is very true but you have to first think and start working on those things so these are the domain scope and data now let us see your career or academic road map how to build a academic road map so that you enter into biotechnology career opportunities it should start from class class 9 and 10 those who have crossed class 9 and 10 and they are in 12 and they have not uh, they first thought of to go in neat to crack neat could not and biotechnology is one of the best options so if you are in class 9 10 please develop the interest in biology things you will have other things physics chemistry mathematics also but you must have a interest in biology then for class 11 12 take the stream with pcb or pcmb and for your graduation ug course if you are if you have pcb then go for bsc biotechnology then you go you can go for pg in msc biotechnology but if you have mathematics and inclination towards technology then do btech in biotechnology then you can do mtech or mba it is up to your interest your passion how you want to build your career and optional is phd if you see for phd or msc or phd i would request you to go abroad have your msc and phd integrated one in abroad universities you can go to japan one of the best places or european universities there you can do your phd msc and phd that is a advice from my side this is the academic road map and also keep it in mind please enter into a good university because good university or college means you are first building a network now there is it is very much required because your network is your net worth keep it in mind and also if you are in a good college private college also you get campus options now what are the skills you should develop design thinking creative uh, creative thinking communication it is every stream or every uh, career you must have a very good communication skills you should develop bio bio process simulations then how to start see if you are in a good college and got in uh, got a job through a campus and it is very fantastic excellent but if you could not do that please go for a internship in any company if it is paid it is okay or you pay and have internship because you need experience then only you can get a job and job don't look for a perfect job whatever job you get if you are getting also salary between 15 to 20000 per month please enter learn the things get the experience and you can jump after some years of experience that is required and you can join the online forum like biotechnica and rachar biotech those who provide internship there also you can have your internship so this is the growth growth as i told you it depends on which industry and which uh, niche area you are entering every niche of the has have their has their own growth and if you are doing a research you are going research definitely you can think of to work in world health organizations also like that you must have a dream have those things 
and it has biotechnology has a very good career road map so this is all about biotech 360 if you like this video please share it subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to build a community of super achievers all the love all the power